This is a uh, unit uh, number 11, chapter two. Okay. Uh, so the whole thing is about uh, phi two boiler. We talked a little bit about the phi two boiler already on, on chapter one. Uh, this one is just go uh, a little bit deeper, more detail. That's all. Eh? So the object for, of this uh, chapter eh, is um, you want to just uh, you have an idea after the lesson you should be able to describe the the Scott uh, boiler and we're going to take a look at the, the circulation pattern of the phi 2 boiler and and then later on at the end we'll take some of the construction detail of the phi 2 uh, boiler now the american uh, boiler Manufacturing Association, they, they keep a definition in here. Right? The, it's a boiler with a strict tube. Uh, uh, it's surrounded by, by water or steam. Uh, and uh, inside, uh, uh, there is some portal of the combustion, uh, go full. So that is a uh, uh, fine tube boiler. Now, um, let's say, you know, if you, you want to to define the water tube or the fire tube boiler. The fire tube, easy, uh, the fire is inside the tube. And the water tube, uh, water tube is water inside, inside the tube. So that's, that's it, you know, that's the difference. Uh. Now in here, they said, you know, the, the product of a combustion. Uh, no, so this one we we call it a fuel gas. Uh, it could be any type of combustion uh, because you know um, when I first start, uh, I do not burn oil and gas, uh, uh, but rather uh, I burn the sulfur. Uh, I burn sulfur, and then the the powder uh, is SO2, uh, and we just put it full a uh, really small. Um, a fire tube boiler, mixed steam. So that could be the combustion process. That could be lots of other type too. Eh? Uh, the the fire to uh, the fire to uh, a boiler. Eh? Um, it it looks like you know just like uh, you put the sh a shell and two pit again changer eh? and put the uh, um, on the both end. Eh? Cap it with a front door and back door, eh? and you get a. Uh, a fire to boiler. So the, it's, it's really, really simple eh, and rugged uh, construction. Eh? And the way you make this eh, is we really, uh, the cause eh, is really, really simple because every tube is straight. Eh? You don't have to bend it eh? and to make everything a whole lot easier. And one of the characteristics eh, of the, the water to boiler is um, because you know only the the furnace uh, and uh, the tubes are uh, inside is fire outside there uh, uh, on the big shell uh, um, the fuel of water so the volume of water uh, is um, uh, quite quite big uh, so one of the characteristic of the fire tube boiler is it takes a longer time uh, compared to a water tube boiler to heat it up um, before they can make steam uh, now, uh, it's the same thing, uh, the same characteristic, uh, is there is some advantage too, uh, uh, because you have a big pot of water already, uh, you're ready to make steam. You're ready to make steam. Uh, all the water uh, uh, is, is there already, very easy to make steam. Uh. Now, you look at the steam making process, uh, just like in a kettle, uh, the first thing you have to warm up uh, the water. So take in all those, uh, uh, sensible heat, uh, and then you add some more heat, uh, which is a lantern late, heat, uh, and then it becomes um, steam. Uh. So if you have a, a pot of water, it's already uh, at the boiling point, uh, so it doesn't need, take too much effort to make steam out of the, the, the big pot of water. So that means uh, uh, um, they make it easier uh, to for for this type of boiler to handle the low change. Mm -hmm. Now, if you 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 don't have too much water there, if uh, somebody turn on uh, uh, some equipment out on the plant, uh, so take out your steam, uh, and as soon as you make steam, uh, uh, I'm talking about a water to boiler. You have to 
use a, a feed water pump to pump the cold water inside the boiler, heat it up, right, and then make steam. Uh, the time uh, it uh, take a bit longer. So the fire to boiler can handle uh, the fluctuation uh, a little bit better the water too. Uh. So just uh, the, the advantage of this type of boiler because they are small in size. So they they are made in the in the, the factory. Uh, you have a, a better uh, call um, or call it control. Everything is there. Uh, and the initial cost uh, is a whole lot less than uh, the water to boil. So the, I would think you know, the, the main thing, the, the cost uh, saving, the main cost saving uh, is because the tube are just a strict tube. Uh, and lots of them, you know, you don't need to, uh, too much uh, welding. Uh, you put the tube into the tube sheet and expand it, and that's it. You know? A whole lot easier to bend in the tube uh, and then uh, put, hook it up to the mud drum and steam drum as the water to boil. Okay. Now, uh, require little or no, no setting. Uh, the, um, the setting uh, is just like the, the supporting, uh, the support. Now, uh, all you need uh, is uh, a couple of uh, a piece of cement, a uh, piece of cement board. Uh, now, in here, you, you see behind me, uh, you can pretty much can see see the setting in there, uh, see the setting of the boiler uh, underneath there, uh, a small patch of cement. Uh, and then there is a couple of pieces of metal supporting the, the water to boil. Uh, so this is really easy to handle. Uh. Now, so uh, of course, you know, the large volume of water, you, you can handle the fluctuation a whole lot better than the, the water to boil. Now the repair and maintenance cost uh, is also uh, uh, lower too, uh, because once you open the back door, one open the front door, you see everything there. Uh, the tube is strict. Uh, if you want to uh, clean the tube, uh, it's quite easy. Uh, you, you just uh, stick a piece of brass, uh, just like, you know, the the chimney brass, uh, a smaller size chimney brass, uh, and stick it in and take it out uh, once, uh, and then the uh, tube uh, thin. Uh, and and uh, on the other college, uh, I used to have the student to, to do this uh, every year. It's really easy to clean. Uh, but on the other hand, uh, for the water tube, uh, it's banned too. So you cannot use a brass to clean this. Everything has to be um, uh, special equipment, uh, or sometimes you use a high pressure washer, uh, stick a high pressure hose in there. Uh, we are talking about 6,000 psi uh, uh, water, and then you clean it up. Uh, the cost is quite a bit uh, compared to this. Uh. Now you see, uh, the, the, there's a picture of the fire tube boiler behind me. Uh. You see, then they are long, uh, they're not very, very high. So your building, uh, doesn't have to be extra, extra high. Eh? Or on the other hand, eh, you know, the, the water to boiler, it turn it the other way around. Eh? And then you require a few storage high building. Eh? And uh, less blockage in water side than the uh, than water to boiler. Because in the water to boiler, you have the water inside the tube. Eh? So those are small tube, only two, Two inch, two and a half inch, and and when you have a band there, there's a chance that something popped up in there. So, but um, for for the uh, fire to boil, the water is outside the tube. Eh? It's really really big space, eh? and uh, the the blockage eh? is not really serious in there. Okay. Now let's take a look. The, uh, uh, okay, no, I I think. Uh, miss a couple. Uh. Now the disadvantage uh, is uh, the size is really small. Uh, you can really make a really big, uh, big boiler out of it. Uh. So and you and lots of time uh, because the capital cost is a little bit smaller. Uh, if you need the a lot of capacity, uh, all you need is you just put uh, instead of one, uh, you put three or four of them grouped together uh, and and hook up the same steam header, and then you can handle the load that way. Yeah? 
Uh, instead of one big uh, water two boiler, you can make one three, four, uh, uh, five two boiler in a row uh, hooked up to the same thing. Uh. Now, one of the problem uh, is the, the pressure. Uh, it cannot uh, go really high. Uh. 2.4 MPA, and that's about it. But tell you the truth, uh, I never seen one uh, operate that big, uh, that uh, that high. Uh. M most of the time, you know, you, you're talking about uh, 2,300 PSI. Uh, uh, so, to, to, probably, uh, I seen one that like, operate one, to, yeah, one two, the, two point zero MPA, uh, MPA. Uh. Now, uh, the way the, the construction uh, of the fine tube boiler is, you have a, a shell. Uh, if you want to withstand a little bit more pressure, that means the shell metal uh, had to be really, really thick. Uh, you're talking about a couple, couple just a five, six centimeter thick. Uh, that's a lot of core. Really hard to, to manufacture too. Uh, just see, you know, you bend the, the, the thick, uh, Seven, six, seven, uh, a cm uh, uh, piece of metal, uh, and and it will be really heavy too. Uh, not economical anymore. Uh. No, so the 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 very you know, really thick shell and two materials, so it's not not uh, not not really economical. Uh. And one of the advantages, just one of these characteristics, it take long time before you you hit the initial pot of water up. Uh. Okay, now, why right now? Eh? Let's take a look at uh, the original 5 2 boiler. You know, this one, uh, the horizontal return to uh, turbo uh, boiler. So, you pretty much you know, the, this is pretty much you know, the, the original eh, uh, 5 2 boiler. They don't make that anymore. Eh? Now, you see eh, on the picture, eh, it looks like, you know, it is it, it just like a kettle. Eh? It's it just like a kettle. Uh, you have a fire burning in here, and uh, it goes one pass right, and go go through that. So now, what they mean by externally fire? Uh, because you know this is the uh, the fire. Uh, so it's outside on the free only one side there's water. Uh, on the free side, free side the one two three. There's no water enclosed. Uh, so the heat. We lost to the surrounding, huh? so if you have big work in here, it just lost uh, the heat to here, so it's not really efficient. Huh? No. So you can say this is two parts, huh? because uh, from here, uh, the first pass in there, and then the second pass, huh? not really efficient. Huh? There, it, some other, uh, be, uh, a little bit better design, huh? later on, uh, uh, they make a five box, uh, five box boiler. It's still uh, external fire, huh? They add uh, one or two parts, uh, two to three parts. They add a couple of parts or the, uh, just uh, make the few gas turn around. Eh? And and lots of time, you know, they might uh, have a uh, water side and close uh, uh, one side of the furnace. Eh? Uh, but this kind of design is just uh, good enough for the low pressure surface. Eh? Now, this one is, is, I don't know they make it anymore. Mostly they don't make it anymore, but there is some of these things still around. Eh? Uh, probably from 10 years ago, eh, I I went to inspect an old building eh, owned by the federal government. Eh? Um, it says a border crossing. They have a building there. In the basement, they have a boiler. Eh? That boiler there eh, is probably from 75 ADO, eh, cast iron. Eh? It's still running. Eh? So some of these boilers is one for a long time. Eh? Now the, the boiler behind me on the background there, this particular one eh, is a 65 year old eh, uh, uh, Kiefer book. Eh, it's still running. Eh? So if you go out there and work as a four car power engineer, you might still see a, a couple of these five box boilers out there. Eh? Okay. Uh, talk about, you know, I inspect the boiler causing and uh, not really good experience. Uh. I went down to the basement to inspect the boiler. Uh. They, they, they sent a guard to look, look, <laughs> follow me all the way. I mean, uh, just because, you know, the boiler causing really high security area. Uh, the gun and everything, we just following me around uh, while inspecting the boiler. <laughs> so, 
Now, uh, little, later on, uh, they make uh, a little better design. Uh, they, they call these uh, uh, Scott uh, Marine uh, Boiler. It's just like the Scotch uh, boiler. But originally, uh, uh, you see the boiler originally uh, is, they, they, they put the boiler originally is in, on the bow, uh, the big ocean liner, uh, or put it on the train. Uh, so lots of the boat, the big ocean liner, they use the Scotch uh, uh, boiler. Uh, so that is why they call it marine, uh, the water, uh, Scott marine. Um, um, boiler. Okay. Now, now that that is the the history stuff. Uh, now you you see uh, the word stationary engineer, uh, the operating engineer, the the period here. Yeah, and it was uh, probably on 40, 50 years ago. Uh, uh, we call it so stationary. Uh. Now because you know the boiler in the bowl, uh, they're moving. Uh, and those boilers in the train, uh, they're also moving, uh, they're moving. But those boilers inside the uh, building uh, is stationary, they're not moving. Uh, so whoever operates the, the, those boilers inside the building uh, is a stationary boiler. So that is the name stationary, stationary engineer, come from. Uh. <laughs> oh, that's the history. Okay, now the Scott Marine, uh, um, they it's really popular because the design is simple uh, and they, they last a long time, easy to construct. Uh, and sometimes we just uh, refer the Scott uh, uh, boiler as the HSA Y2 boiler. Uh, just say, uh, you know, the, the, the boiler behind me is a Kiefer broke. Uh, the design uh, is the, the Scott uh, a marine boiler design. So uh, one other thing, the, uh, one step improved from the firebox uh, or, the, or the HRT boiler is the whole furnace uh, is surrounded by, by, by water. So that means the, the heat uh, will be absorbed by all the water all around it, uh, much efficient this way. Uh. And now they, they in, insert uh, some baffle uh, on the, the fire side uh, to redirect the fire go around, uh, so you can have two, three, or four passes. Uh, and the more passes you have, uh, the more chances uh, you can absorb the heat before it go up to the, the stack. Uh, okay. So the firmware efficiency is a whole lot better this way. Uh, so because of the simple construction, uh, a good enough efficient, efficiency. Uh, so this type of water stay uh, a long time. Uh, Now, you see, uh, this one uh, uh, is a, a modern design of the Scott uh, boiler already. So this one probably uh, is a key for book. Uh. Now you, you see, uh, uh, you open up the uh, front door and back door, you see the, the tube already, uh, the tube and the furnace. Uh, okay. And this is the, the back door, uh, this is the front door. You see, this is uh, the, you have a, um, a burner there. When you close the door, uh, the burner will stick inside uh, the furnace uh, a little bit. Uh. Now those things, uh, you see this thing? That is the, the divider, you call buffalo. Uh, the buffalo, the divider. Uh, so there's one on uh, one at the back and one, one on the front. Uh. Okay, so, right. so, and this one, uh, the uh, some of them they even have it now, so they have a hinge to to do this. Uh, now and look at this. Uh, you see the there's a chimney. Uh, the chimney on the front. Uh, that means uh, it's a even pass. Uh, because the one if you go the fire go to the other side have to come back. Uh, so doesn't matter how many you go. Uh, so if the chimney on the front uh, is a even pass boiler. Now for the the, the Scott boiler, they have the dry back uh, or the, the wet uh, um, back. Wet, that means that there's a water in that as well. Uh. Now this picture uh, is the, the dry, dry back, uh, dry back. So that means that they only have a, a back door uh, 
back door and the front door. They don't have any water on the back uh, back uh, the rear of the furnace to absorb the heat. Uh. But this design uh, is much easier to 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 do. Uh. Now, um, you see, this is the back door. Just just say, you know, let's take a look in here. Now you see this back door. Uh, they have two compartments. There's a baffle way right in here. The divider, the baffle, uh, right in there. So that is the divider in here. Okay. Now the fire go through here and then uh, come to two bins there. Go in there. Uh, I I believe you know on the looks I post on the the D two L uh, they forgot to put a piece of baffle one there here. So I just throw it back in. Uh, so go through here uh, and then come down go go through there. Uh, okay. Now <clears throat> so. Because you know they have um, the dry bag, there's nothing at the back, eh? so everything open. And once you open the door, eh? and you see everything, eh? okay. And the maintenance is much much easier. Once you open the door, you can clean the two wire on both sides. You open both doors, eh? and then you can use a long piece of pipe hook up a brass eh? to clean the tubes. Eh? Uh, really nice and and easier. Okay. Now, um, in on the door there, huh, you have some uh, refractory. Huh? Let's say take a look at the door. You see the door there? All these one, huh, uh, the you need lots of insulation, huh? Because the the fire come from the front, huh? it's a bowl from here. It, it come out in here. Uh, there's lots, lots of heat in there. Huh? Lots, lots of heat there. So if you don't put in up a refractory there, huh? your the um the metal huh, of the door, huh, it could just say like birth hour a, a, a little bit eh? now have to 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 have lots of um, what we factor there so every year when we open this up eh, and you will because the heat intensive the heat then eh, you always some some crack in there eh? and lots of time you know you just use some uh, uh, we factor you see man eh? open it up and feel the crack eh? and Plus another core of a refractory, a saw refractory seam in there. So this is one of the main and probably the, all these type of dry, dry back uh, uh, boiler uh, because the, the heat is really insen uh, intensive uh, at the back. Uh, the refractory is always crack. Uh, okay. Now let's take a look at the wet back. Uh, wet back it's, it's in here. You see the, on the furnace there. The, they have a compartment, uh, fuel or water, just a uh, fuel water. Uh, in just say uh, you have a box at the outside, I fuel or water, so and then absorb the heat too. Uh. But the problem is, you you close at the back end in here, you cannot see the tube anymore. Uh. So if you want to to clean the tube, uh, you probably can open the front door to clean the tube that way. Uh. But you cannot just stick a piece one in there and put it out and pull it back. Eh? Uh, that's what we do when we clean the tube. Eh? You get a, uh, a, a long piece of pipe, uh, probably a, um, half a centimeter, half a meter longer than the tube. Eh? You hook up a brush in there, you just push the brush all the way through eh? and then pull it back eh? and the tube will be nice and clean. Eh? So uh, this time, uh, the uh, would be really hard to clean this tube, eh? but since they have the water to absorb this, eh, the the refractory eh, um, will not crack as easy as uh, the the dry dry bag. Eh? Now, because you know the most intensive heat eh, is on the first pass. Eh? On the first pass, uh, they have water to absorb the heat. Eh? So when you go <coughs> first pass, and then it, when you go to the 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 four, four after the third pass, uh, before they go go to the dry door in here, and then the heat is not quite intense, intensive uh, as the uh, <clears throat> as the first pass, uh, so and the refractory can stay a, a long, long time. Uh. But the problem is, uh, any time you make the water turn around, uh, and you will have some problem, something that is stuck in there, uh, just like an elbow. Uh, and the elbow there, uh, you put some water. Lots of time, you know, you have scale, uh, some dirt, everything stick in there. And on the ch turnaround chamber, lots of dirt in here. On my pocket up. Now, 
<clears throat> you see the those are circulation already. Eh? Now, on, on that, you see some circulation pattern already. So on this objective number two, uh, we will take a look at the circulation. Uh, uh, the circulation, right? There is the, the gas, uh, the few the few gas circulation, or and the water circulation pattern too. Eh? Now, so let's take a look at the, the circulation. So this one uh, is the the cut away view uh, of the five two boiler. Okay, uh, so now this one is uh, is the fun. Huh? You, you have a furnace. The wet thing is just uh, the first pass. It go into the paper, go into the paper, huh? and then the second pass it come back. Huh? The wet red one, it come back. Huh? You see the dog the line. Huh? Dog the line is the back door. Uh, the the back door or uh, there's a back, uh, the baffle at the back uh, the, the one I showed you before uh, so the few gas at the back cannot go up uh, so they have to turn one come to the front again uh. so when it come to the front again um, on the front there there is no baffle uh, so that means no from the uh, the fire come from the bottom I uh, come from here and then it go back up on this uh, go to the back again uh. so after the go to the back and they come back to the front now. Uh, uh, on on this uh, and then and and then you go to the the stack uh, so, uh, so that is the the gas pass uh, the furnace go to the back because um, there's a, a compartment there and they come back to the front uh, and then at the front there is no compartment in uh, no baffle in here so the the few gas come from here and just go go to the back uh, here and at the back there. And it's a come come back on the, the few tubes in here. Now, so the most in, intensive uh, the heat uh, is on the first pass and the second pass. Uh. By the time you you go to the last pass, uh, it um, is quite cool already. Uh. So, and the design problem is that you you want to make sure you don't take out too much heat, uh, and so that you know the, you have a condensation problem. Uh. Now, this is a cutaway view of the the fire. The, oh yeah, that's a key for book. Eh? So, the fire go in here. There's a baffle. This one cannot go up. It'll go for, come back here. There are no baffle in between this one and there. So you just go through there and go go down here, and come back here and go uh, go to the um, the stack. Eh? Now the fire is inside the tube. And the furnace, uh, the the furnace itself, right? Uh, you can see uh, the furnace itself uh, is a big tube, a uh, uh, probably you know, uh, one meter, probably zero point eight meter diameter, some or zero point six meter diameter. Uh, it is a big tube. Uh, okay. Uh, outside there, the it, it, um, it uh, just fuel of water. Uh. Now later on, we we're gonna talk talk about you know, the tube seat. Uh, of that is the tube seat in here. Uh, tube seat in here. This uh, the tube seat, the big piece of really thick metal. Uh, well, to the the shell uh, and punch lots of hole there so that you can put the tube in there. <coughs> now, <coughs> I, I, look, I put a look in there. So for the gas pass, uh, if you see the stack, uh, is at the back. Uh, uh, it's odd number of pass. So. You go there and come back and go there to the back. Eh? So either one or three, eh? three uh, passes. Eh? But if this, the stack eh, is at the front, eh? it got to be an even number. But anything you go to the back, had to come back to the front, eh? so even number of passes. Eh? <coughs> now, now let us take a look. Eh? <coughs> There's a, a special uh, uh, fine tube boiler. Eh? Now this this five tube boiler um, is a vertical uh, tube. What they call tubeless uh, a boiler. Eh? Uh, the tubeless may not be true eh? because no uh, inside there this boiler have a big tube inside. Eh? Okay, but there is no five tube as the as in in the the other one we 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 see. Eh? Okay, now this one is called a vertical. Uh, Tubeless uh, a boiler. Uh, did I miss anything? Yeah, I missed this one. Huh? Now, okay. 
So this one is a cutaway view uh, on this. Now, if you can imagine, uh, it's uh, just uh, a few, you look at the, the top, from the top, uh, there's a big hole on the middle, uh, and then you have uh, another empty, a uh, hollow compartment, uh, hollow. this one is hollow compartment, uh, and then another another compartment on the, <coughs> on the side. Yeah? So you have one compartment, two compartment, and the third compartment on the side. Yeah? So the furnace, uh, it's just like a burner. Yeah? You, you mount the burner upside down. You put the, the burner on top yeah? and then fire it downward. Yeah? So you fire it downward. And then at the back there, they have, at the bottom there, they have a compartment. Yeah? So it's a reverse chamber. We will chamber, they go in here and then go up and then the stack and the chimney is on top. Eh? So in, in this in this case, eh, you see you one pass coming down, eh, the reverse pass, eh, and then go to the chimney, two passes, the vertical, eh, vertical. Um, so the three compartments, the concentric compartment, eh, the center is your the furnace, eh, uh, the outside eh, is the return also, you know, the fuel gas pass. Uh, now, on the outside, yeah, in this picture there, yeah, they, they, it's so you, they put some metal fins, uh, it's just like the, the radiator of the car, they put some more fins in there, so, so, that, so that, you know, they, they can absorb, uh, um, absorb all the heat, uh, okay? absorb the uh, heat in there. Okay, now the middle wing, uh, the middle wing here, now, uh, the with the wing there, there's fewer water. Eh? You see the the there's a the the water inlet eh? and water outlet. So you do the bow down in here. Eh? You bow down in here. Uh, you that means water going in. Eh? Going in here. You, in this case, yeah, you see the fire eh? will be touching the water compartment from both inside and outside. Eh? Now, uh, because the compartment is, is quite big, eh? uh, the water compartment is quite big, eh? um, the, the heat absorption eh, is not very efficient. Eh? Okay. Uh, now, so this will just uh, have reverse chamber and everything in there. Now, let's take a look at the characteristic eh, of the, this type of boiler. Eh? Now, the thing that this one is, uh, it's really, really small. Eh? I think, you know, the yesterday, on the yesterday video, I saw you one of the Fulton, Fulton boiler. Eh? Uh, you're talking about only one meter, eh? one meter the diameter, eh? probably you not know, two meter high, eh? and you can produce steam already. Eh? Now, because, you know, the it's really simple construction, uh, only three compartments. Eh? So the the construction cost, uh, initial cost is really low. Uh, the capital cost is low. Uh, if you have a, let's just say, a, a small factory, uh, um, lots of time they just, they don't want to spend too much money in there. Uh, and and the maintenance uh, is uh, not bad too, uh, it's not easy too. So, and they just put, put uh, one of these in uh, and put some steam, uh, make some steam. Uh, and uh, lots of time, you know, you can see, uh, in the dry dry cleaning business, uh, they have so something in you know, something like that in their produce steam too. Uh, but lots of time, you know, they just uh, use a small fire to boil uh, uh, because now in uh, in the dry cleaning business, that uh, they use the steam uh, to clean the the coal thing. Uh. You know, I I hate. Uh, go into those uh, dry cleaning uh, business to, to inspect the boiler. Eh? Every time they see you, eh, they know they have to pay the government <laughs> the fee, eh? so they don't like that very much. Eh? But the low in capital cost, eh, well, probably, you know, this is the, the most uh, advantage of this one. Eh? It's not energy efficient at all, eh? because the the water compartment is too thick. Eh? The heat exchange is not very good. Eh? Now, most of them is just a low pressure, uh, low, low pressure steam, eh? and but they do come in, uh, make a bigger, uh, thicker um, uh, metal. Eh? They can up into uh, 
almost 3,500 K, kVA. Yeah. So you can do lots of things with 3,500 kVA. Yeah. It's just like, you know, in the hospital, uh, they need the, the high temperature uh, to sterilize the equipment. Uh, so they can put one a small one in uh, to just uh, sterilize the equipment too. Uh. Okay, now we we just uh, finished talking about uh, the fuel gas uh, circulation pattern. Uh. Now let's take a look at the, the water circulation. Uh. Okay, now so this is uh, one of the typical typical um, uh, fire to boil. Uh, you have a furnace there. Uh. So when the furnace produce heat, uh, the area uh, the you see the blue one is all water. Uh. So the water way on top of the furnace, on the furnace compartment, uh, will be hot. Uh. So the density uh, will be a bit lighter, uh, lighter, it expand. Uh. So when you expand, that means you expand this, you will push the, the water further away uh, to somewhere. Uh. So this way, you just push it to the side, you can always go to the side. And remember, this water out there at origin is still colder than the one on top of the furnace. And then you sink to the bottom. You sink to the bottom. And then when it come back down in here, this is cold water being hit again, and then it go to the top. again. And then you create a pattern, a water pattern in here, just like this. Just like this. Uh, now, and lo lots of time, uh, uh, when you start a really big boiler, uh, it's a good idea to fry this uh, for five minutes uh, and shut it down for 10 minutes so that the water inside uh, get, get a chance uh, to do the natural circulation itself uh, so that it will heat up everything. Uh, so you will not have uh, uh, the the thermal shock, uh, and then you will not break, break anything. Uh, okay. Now, uh, you you look at this. Uh, uh, I the, the there's nothing go go full at the bottom. Uh, and also, you know, lots of dirt. Uh, in case any dirt, it you will sink to the bottom. Uh, so in this case, uh, that means you no. Know, this one is really stale water, uh, and not. Too much uh, circulation here, but the one of the good thing about this one is uh, because it's underneath the furnace, uh, the heat is not really concentrated, uh, so we will not overheat. So that's a good thing about this. Uh, but the problem of the the sludge, uh, those all the dirt, uh, will come in. If you have some rust on the tube, uh, when it get loose, uh, you got to come down here. So that is why you have to drain this water out in here. So. What you call it, we call it the, the bow down. So this area you have to drain it out. Now, okay. Now this uh, at the bottom here, the sludge we at the bottom. Uh, you need to uh, remove the bow down only frequent. Uh. Now you see uh, on the boiler behind me. Uh, you see the the one with the the wet handle and the the, the wet wing. Uh, those are the bow down line. Uh, they, it connect. Uh, uh, go down a little bit. It connect uh, to the the bottom of the the, the shell. Uh, any dirt there you open it, just open it and blow it off. Uh, okay. Uh, so that is what one of the thing you have to do. Uh. Uh, <clears throat> so now the all in in the steam boiler uh, or it's just a uh, the regular steam boiler, fire tube or water tube. Uh, uh, there is no pump inside the, the boiler. The water circulation, right, it's just by natural circulation. Uh, uh, the, the natural circulation, uh, some water is hotter than the other one. Uh, so the density of the cold water is, is higher than the, the hot water. It sinks to the bottom. Uh, it creates a natural pattern uh, that is uh, uh, more what, uh, what makes the circulation. Uh, now. Um, so the if we have some hot water boiler, uh, the design is also the uh, like the fire tube boiler too. Uh. Now the O O T S G uh, 
Oh, the, uh, one full steam generator. They have lots and lots of tube go through, right? lots of tube go through the, you go through the, the radiant section, uh, go to the convection section, and then come out. Uh. So there's no steam drum and mud drum uh, on the OTSC. So you need the pump uh, to pump the force of water through. Uh. Uh, in this type of water, you need the, uh, it is the, uh, you, you need the pump on the external pump. Uh, to pump the water go through. Eh? The hot water boiler, it also need the water pump to force the water through. Eh? But steam boiler, the, the circulation eh, is natural. Now, uh, so the, the lower uh, permissible uh, water level, eh, for for those the Scott Marine, uh, the uh, this one, uh, those those type that we are talking about, uh, the lowest permissible water level uh, is usually, uh, underneath the uh, but usually, uh, is twenty five mm, uh, pretty much one inch, uh, about the top surface of the the tube. Uh, now you have lots and lots of tube uh, on there. Um, the steam space, uh, there's no steam drum on the water tube boiler. Uh, on the top there, they have a really small uh, space in there. You have some uh, uh, a, a steam space. Uh, let's say we go back to one of the, or this, and uh, I'll uh, go back to here. You see, this one uh, on top there, that's a steam space. Uh, so this top, this row uh, is the topmost uh, row of water tube. So in this case, uh, your mini, uh, the lowest uh, permissible water level uh, should be uh, 25 mm above this lower tube. Uh, so it will be somewhere around here. So you should have water cup for uh, this lower um, uh, tube. Uh, okay. Now, okay, I'm going 22 before. Uh, okay. Now, the important thing about it is, is usually, uh, it's somewhere around 25 mm. Uh, uh, now the level uh, is determined by the manufacturer. When they make this, uh, they, it could be some other problem. They want into it. Uh, it might require you you uh, have a little bit more water uh, than 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 this. Uh. On the next lecture, there about one or two water, you we will have uh, a section uh, about about the lowest permissible water level. Uh. Now, so the lower permissible. Uh, uh, Water level, uh, it is not the usual level you keep the water in uh, because it's too dangerous way in there. So you should keep at least, you know, uh, probably another 25 to 50 m uh, mm on top of this level uh, so that, you know, you, when you keep to here, um, your low water cut off, uh, the safety device, uh, it should cut the water off. Uh, just before they reach that level, uh, otherwise quite dangerous. Uh. Okay. Now, again, uh, maybe, uh, maybe you I repeat myself again and again. Uh, it's just the lower permissible water level uh, is not the water level we keep on the boiler. We we keep at least one twenty five to fifty mm a little bit higher than level. Uh, Okay, the normal operating level is a little bit higher than the lower permissible water level, so that we have a, a safety margin in there. Okay, now objective number three, uh, we look at uh, some of the 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 fire to boiler construction uh, material uh, or the component. Now the furnace uh, is the inside. Uh, compartment in here. Let, let's say uh, uh, that is the inside compartment. Or let's say we we'll go back to here. So that is a furnace. Uh, that's a furnace. Now on this one, a uh, uh, boiler behind me is something like that probably 18 inches uh, uh, high. Uh, okay. Now if you have a, a piece of a cylinder, I just like I'll make a cylinder like this. Uh, if I make a cylinder like this, uh, a cylinder like this. A furnace like this, uh, it's not really, really strong. Uh. You can push this uh, and squeeze it uh, and no time at all. Uh. But if you make this, uh, if you don't want it to be weak, uh, you can, what you can do, uh, you can add some wing, uh, as a wing, a wing in here, a wing in there, a wing in there, so they're much stronger. Uh. 
But there's another way to do it. Uh, if you want to make the furnace uh, corrugate, uh, it's just uh, go like that, in and now in and now in and out, something like that. Uh, and that end up with uh, what you have in the piece, the picture in here. I would think this one is uh, exaggerated quite a bit, uh, but the, the idea is you the furnace, you want to don't want a one piece of strip metal, you want to corrugate uh, a little bit. Uh, so that the whole lot uh, is the stronger now so usually you know either corrugate or you have to reinforce wing eh? so that means you no know, on the furnace outside you you wear a wing in there uh up, if you wear a, a reinforce something that uh, affect the, the pattern or the waterfall and eh? not very good eh? so the most easy way eh? is just put in a corrugate pattern eh? now so in order to to the reason why you put a, a corrugator uh, furnace uh, is uh, the string, uh, the design, uh, it, you can withstand the, the string roller so that you can use a thin metal uh, economy. Uh, the manufacturer always get get, get ready to cut costs. Uh. Now, since you your your piece of surface is corrugated in just like this, uh, so that means you actually increase uh, the surface uh, between the fire and the water. Uh, a more time heat transferring surface. Uh, and if this one occur again this way, uh, so the, the fuel gas uh, have to go through one layer and go through like this. Uh, and the mix up the, the fuel gas itself uh, a whole lot better this way. Uh, it burn better too, uh, more, more turbulence. Uh, so when you're burning the, the, the fuel, right, you have turbulence before you can burn the fuel. Right? You have fuel, you have the air, you have them have to mix up too, eh? mix up before you can burn it better. Eh? So if you create some turbulence, eh? the oxygen eh? in the air and the fuel, eh? natural gas, eh? will mix up better. Eh? So you get a better combustion. Eh? Okay. Now, and in case eh, you uh, you have the, the thermal, thermal expansion, eh? So if the firm was similar, if you have just one piece of strip piece of metal, uh, when it expands, uh, it will push to the uh, the front of the back. Uh, so at the front of the back, then you have a piece of tube sheet in there. So there is lots of stretch of pushing on the tube sheet. Uh, but if you your furnace uh, it corrugate like this, uh, you if you have some firm with stretch, uh, the cor uh, the when it go up, uh, it just expand a little bit. That's all. Uh. Now, so in this case, uh, uh, you you save the stretch on your tube sheet. Uh, you know, um, they can compensate the defensive expense a whole lot better than a piece of strip tube. Uh, okay. Now, uh, this one is the uh, we saw that this uh, this picture before on uh, chapter one. Uh, in here, I just want to show. Uh, let's say we just take a look at in here. Uh, when the construction, so that is the shell, that is your shell, eh? and the shell there, that is the tube sheet, you punch lots of those holes there, it could be uh, 100 tube uh, hole in there, someone in there, and then draw a big, put a big hole for the furnace itself, eh? and then the back the same way, eh? they lie up really good, eh? and uh, that's where the tube go in. Eh? Now, if you lie this up good, eh? you can uh, put both of them in first, eh? and slide the tube in there and then expand it eh? okay and then uh, you put the, the the rear door and the, the front door in there so the the burner will mount in here when and once when you uh, close the door eh, the fern the burner will go a little bit inside the furnace eh? now the fire tube uh, the fire tube eh, is it's just like the one between the, the two uh, the two sheet. Uh, um, it it can be made of a seamless or welded tube. Uh, now the seamless tube, seamless. I mean, there's the piece of tube. Uh, there is no seam there. They don't join together. When you manufacture the the piece of tube, uh, you use a method. Uh, it just say uh, you use a mold, pour some steel in there, molten steel in there, and when when it cool down. Uh, and th there's no seam be be uh, the, for, for the tube. Uh, or or sometimes, you know, when you, you do this, uh, you just uh, make uh, a, a bullet, uh, a billet of uh, steel, uh, just a piece of steel in here, uh, 
uh, probably two inches or something like that. And then you use something to punch a hole in the middle. Eh? In this one, yeah, this kind of tube is seamless tube. Eh? And the way of the tube is you have a one piece of metal, just, just like, uh, like before, eh? just like this. One, one sheet of metal, eh? you roll it into here and use a machine eh, to weld in here. So there's a weld tire. So for for this, uh, it it can be a weld pipe, and usually, you know, this one is not really the the tube, is not very really big, uh, so probably about 60, uh, 60, 70 centimeter diameter. That's all. Uh. Now, so this uh, fine tube uh, is subject to quite a high temperature, uh, really high temperature. That is why they have to. Um, do something uh, to make it connect to the tube sheet. Uh. Now, on chapter one, we talk about this, uh, you know, uh, different between the fine tube and water tube. Uh. Or for a water tube, you have to uh, just uh, weld it in place uh, or expand it and bend it over uh, and something like that. Uh. So, a few different methods to put it in there. Okay, now, uh, the last, last item in here is called stays. Uh. In which two pieces of metal stay together, that's what the that stays. Eh? Now, uh, these, these tire, uh, you see the, these tire stay, uh, diagonal stay, eh? it's for you join two perpendicular pieces of metal uh, together. Eh? Uh, if you, you don't put a piece of stay in there, the, the two pieces of metal will not be rigid. Eh? And then we will just say here, here and then you go like this. Uh, eh? So you put a stay there and uh, more with uh, uh, two perpendicular filaments. Uh, so uh, this tire, uh, where are we? Are we we're in here now. Now let's go back there, take, take a look in here, where where the, this stay is. Uh, so uh, let's go in here now. The, the, this tire of diagonal stay, uh, so when you put the tube sheet in here, you put a piece of stay in here between the two sheet and the shell. Uh, put a, a triangle, uh, diagonal stay right in here. Just uh, in here, uh, the, the two sheet will be there. So you put a stay away from here to there. Just at uh, the corner, make it more rigid. Uh. Okay, make it more rigid. Now the second one is a, a full stay. Uh. It's just uh, you have two pieces of metal. We we are apart from each other. Uh. We really are part, well, like big. Uh, you just put a piece of, of stay in between, huh? you could bow, bow and, uh, and not, uh, this bow and not. Uh. Now, the, uh, the first one on the, the, the thing, uh, they, they put it, they just weld it in there. They, they weld the, the stay in there. Now, if you, um, some of the big water two boiler, they actually have a manhole cover in the top, uh, and Sometimes you know, we have to uh, stick our head in uh, and take a look, right? and you can shine your light there, you can see that the stay way at the back, the front and the bottom, that's a stay, make it more rigid. Uh. Now, it can be bow, use of, uh, it just uh, use some thread and bow to bow it together uh, and or wear it together. Okay, now the, the full stay, uh, we you reinforce uh, two pair of paint, it's uh, too far apart, you put in there, but usually, you know, the the fire tube boiler, um, you don't need this one in there eh? because though you have 200 tubes join the two pieces together. Eh? You know, the, the fire tube, eh? 200 pieces in there, you don't need uh, this. Eh? Okay, now on, on the some of the, the early design, eh? they have the, the leg eh? at the bottom there. Eh? They just say, uh, the leg there uh, at the bottom. Eh? You need a piece of stay uh, to, to put this to join together, to reinforce it. Now, uh, the stay bow, eh, it's just like the, the full stay, but it's a little bit shorter eh, and usually, you know, not, not really a 10 centimeter maximum, eh, something like that. It's just a short piece of bow. Eh. Okay. Now, the front and back door, eh, now, this one, eh, you have to, to, to fix it every year, you, you open it up. Eh? So high pressure boiler require you to open it up every year. Now most of uh, the thing you, you want to do eh, is uh, the refactory. Eh? It lies with refactory because the back door uh, is 
really, really intense, intensive heat there, and you need lots of refractory there. So, and most of the time, uh, uh, you will see cracks uh, when you open it up. Uh, one year, the direction of the full gas pass. Uh, now, and so from the back door, uh, you, you want to inspect the border, you just open it up, uh, and you can see everything inside there. Now, and and also for maintenance, uh, easier for the kind of tube too. Uh. Now, once once you open the door, uh, you open the, the door there. The door is really, really heavy. Uh. Where, where, where is it? Uh, uh, it's in here. No. Uh, oh, this one don't have a door in there. No? Yeah, where is it? The door. Uh, this one in here, there's no door. Uh. Where is the picture of the door? There's a door in here. Now, so the, this door there, usually they have a hinge in there. This door is just too heavy for this hinge to to, to support it. Now, whenever you you open the door, open this, make sure you have something to support this. Put something to support this so that it won't sag on you. If you don't do that, the hinge will, will be you may damage the hinge, huh? and if you let let this hang out there for a long time, nothing supported. Huh? This piece huh, will be our wrong. Huh? Our wrong. When you put it back together, huh, it's hopeless. Huh? You see these holes there, huh? this hole there, huh? the hole there. Huh? It's a long piece of bow. Huh? You see this a long piece of bow. Huh? You join a piece of bow there. You know, join a piece of bow. Huh? Join the back door and the housing together. If this hour run a little bit, it's really, really hard to put it together. together. So make sure you support it. Uh, I, I work on uh, a few of these boilers, you know, uh, they sack a little bit, hour run, I have a time to, to, to make it, uh, put it back together. Uh, okay, so that is the, the five tube, uh, Boiler chapter.